As a content creator, I am ever, ever in search of knowledge, but I also want to remind you that knowledge is absolutely dangerous. Today, in this series of Nice to Know, Nice to Have November, I'm going to cover three of my current favorite books I think all creators should read right now, but I'm also looking for what are yours. I want you to drop down in the comments below after this video and tell me what are some of the books or podcasts maybe that you are into that are helping you with your content creation game, uh, just life in general, or just a good story. Let me know. I find that going through the process of reading books and a lot of times, yes, they're audio books. I don't think there's a big deal in the which is the difference. I'm not going to get into that fight today. Trust me, that fight happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of silly, but you're still getting the information. So like, you know what I mean? Like you can't always drink water. So sometimes you got to get an IV. Is the IV any different in giving you the hydration? No. Anyway, I'm going to stop. I'm going to tell you my three. One of the first is War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. And I think this one is important, especially if you still find yourself fighting yourself over the things that we call the resistance. Um, it is just a very good book that helps remind you not to get in your own way and gives you some techniques to help you get past that. Now, some of the things that he states in the books, I think scientifically has been a little bit adjusted because we are still in some conversations about the reality of the limbic system but irrelevant. It's a good book. It works for me. I think it's worth the read. It's really short and it's something that I check back into maybe at least once a year. All right. The second one I have on my list is The One Thing by Gary Keller. This one is very important for those of us that are having a hard time deciding how am I supposed to do it all? You don't have to. You can kind of focus on one thing. And I don't want to give too much of the book away because I think you should absolutely read it. But I find like in this era right now here where we are with social media and content creating and things like that, I want to be full focused on YouTube. I'll occasionally post on Instagram and TikTok and whatever. And, you know, I tried to go all in on LinkedIn. Can't find, I can't find, I can't find my feet. Not, not something that just doesn't vibe with me. I feel a lot of ooginess over there, but some people like it. Hey, that's up to you. But I highly suggest that you read The One Thing by Gary Keller. It can help you sort of guide those principles and get along your way. Again, links to both of these books, well, all three of these books will be in the description. And one that I'm currently reading that I think has a lot of impactful stuff in it. And again, I just recently had to be reminded of this from my gold group. I have a training group uh, that I coach in their YouTube journey. It's a tight knit group and they're my gold group. And they had to let me know. They had to put me in my place. And so it was a reminder today that I wanted to talk about this book because it's a book that I'm reading. And I kind of took a break from it because I was reading it during traveling. And I realized I need to go back in and finish this book after getting basically pinned in the corner by my people because I was being dumb. <laughs> anyway, the book is called Ego is the Enemy. And some of the important things in the book are this idea of going back to the beginner mindset. Uh, which I'm doing with this Nice to Know, Nice to Have November series, right? This is definitely one of those situations where in order to show some flow, in order to show the community how easy content creation can be once you kind of have a system, that I need to go back to some of the beginner tendencies. But also, it's a reminder that I have maybe things that I know I'm supposed to do but kind of forgot about or have ignored it so long that it no longer is top of mind. So that beginner mindset is there. I have to remind myself, I always have to keep learning, which is the reason why I read these books. I always, always, always push myself to learn more. I always have to keep experimenting, which I talked about a couple of days ago in a video. And it's also that reminder that I mentioned earlier in the book that knowledge is dangerous. It's easy to get to the point where you're like, yeah, I know, but... And my dad used to hark on this with me, uh, me and my brother June all the time. Like, I know is the dumbest sentence in the English language. I know. So many smart people miss the signs because they think they know when someone is trying to tell them, like, no, you have to do it this way. Um, there's fantastic stories about an airplane crash, crash that happened 
in uh, Korean Airlines because the unders didn't feel they could tell the pilot, the co-pilot couldn't tell the pilot that he was about to hit the mountain because the pilot wouldn't listen. And it's, again, you know, thanks to my community for putting me in my place. I really needed that at that time. And sometimes we all get there. It doesn't matter who you are. There's times I'm coaching someone and they're like, yeah, I know, but, yeah, I know, but. I'm like, no, but you're missing the whole point, right? So it, it, it happens to all of us. And, and that's why I think this is a good book, especially if you're just starting out and you're tr- you want to be successful at this. You have to get over the ego. You have to get over the ego that I put out this video. I'm supposed to get a thousand views. No, you're not. <laughs> you don't. Nobody owes you those views. You have to earn them. Right. And so the enemy of the ego can. I mean, enemy is the ego. The ego is the enemy. <sighs> ego is the enemy can help you sort of wrap your head around that and discover some of the places where you are lacking and where you can go in. Now, one of the things I think is highly important as you read these books is I think it's important to take a journal. I think it's important to write down notes of any things that hits you. And then the point of taking notes, don't just write down a quote or phrase that is said verbatim. If you write down a quote or a phrase, take some time to write out what that means to you. And if writing a journal is not your thing, I highly suggest, you know, grab a little notebook and you don't need a fancy fountain pen, but it just feels good. Uh, grab yourself a book and and sort of jot down what you're going through, because then you can look back in that journal because you're going to come up with ideas as you're free writing. You don't have to punctuate. You don't have to capitalize. You don't have to write in complete sentences. You just need to let it out of your head. You got to brain dump on this paper and then we're going to transform that into a system that you can use and you will probably find some really incredible ideas for your next video as you're journaling, as you're reading and going through this process. Now, I like audiobooks, so I use Audible, not sponsored. Um, I also want to remind you in case you've forgotten, in many cases, you can get all of these for free from your public library in Kindle format audible format and in the physical books themselves so if you haven't dusted off that old library card in a while it's kind of a good place to get started you don't have to rush out and buy all these books and if you are going to buy them especially these type of books uh self-help books or as some people like to call them shelf help because you get bought and they live back there on the shelf always check secondhand you can normally find a deal or ask people in your community there's a book swap and uh by the office when I go to travel, they have these little book houses that look like bird cages, and people just slam books in there. So I always stop by and look at those and see see what you can grab. So don't don't run out and buy these guys at the airport. <laughs> just uh, check the check the used format. Of course, the library; those are great places. So we don't have to add too much drama to the platform. And uh, yeah, uh, these are my top three: the War of Art. Right now. Anyway, I have a couple more that I would like to add to this list, but I didn't want to make the video too long. And I'm curious what you have, but it's the war of art, the one thing, and ego is the enemy. So this is my top three uh, creator book picks right now. And yeah, let me know what you got. Nice to know, nice to have November. This is a series where I talk about the things I wish I knew, or I wish I had when I started my content creation journey. Now, like this, the other videos in the series, this has been sponsored by Doc Pops. You can find out more about them at docpops.com. That's D-O-C-P-O-P-P-S. Or you can go to docmerch, D-O-C-M-E-R-C-H.com, and you can get that right there. There's a little YouTube shelf down on the bottom. But recently, YouTube has been doing some weird stuff with my product listings. But don't worry. Just click the link, jump on over, and grab yourself a Doc Pop. It's a fantastic way to support the channel. I am also on a mission currently to get to 20,000 by the end of the year so I can spread this message to get more people to sort of release the dragons and tell their stories by the end of the year. So if you know anyone who needs to hear this, please send them a link to this video and press the subscribe button. Again, commenting down below. I'm trying to answer every single comment that comes in. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the support and those that have been riding with me for this entire month. And I'm going to keep it going for as long as I possibly can because I just feel like I have so much to say and so little time to say it. What I'm going to do right now, though, is talk to the old YouTube algorithm and have them show you another video that you should check out. So just go ahead and give it a little...
I need to know everything Who and the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying But act like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche There's five and a horse, I'm ready for war I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost I need to know everything Now you be surprised at the info you get Just by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk Gotta keep quiet, maneuver